quick little nugget again. Coordinating producer Carl Haskell puts together the rundown every week for us. So I'm reading it. I promise you, I'm looking at it. It might be five minutes before we actually start, but I'm looking at it. The Florida Panthers, though, what in the hell is going on? CH, you're coming back up to north. You're going to, the hockey season officially starts, you said, when you come back. Florida Panthers are 21 and three at home. And yeah. 14 of those wins have been on the puck line. Are we sleeping on this Florida Panthers team? They're in a warm weather climate. They can play. They can play. It, you know, I, I don't know how I hadn't noticed that they were 21 and three at home, which is that in itself is a feat. But when 14 of those 21 games are by more than a goal and a half, they won the last two games by a combined like 17 to two. Yeah. They, lit somebody up. They, yeah. they are, they are lighting some people up. Uh, I think, it might be lightning in a bottle here. It might, you know, who knows? It might all average itself out later on in the season. But right now, that's something to pay attention to. Of course, um, they're on the road for the next 10 days. So Exactly. So we got to see now they have a very hard road trip coming up, actually. And yep. Kevin Rogers, who I did the show with this morning on Vegas Insider, pointed that out to me because I pointed out to him. He does some pregame and postgame for the Florida Panthers. So I know he's a hockey guy, too. And um, – I mentioned that to him. He's like, oh, this is a big road trip coming up. They're doing the Western Canada swing. And then I think they're actually making their way back to Vegas through on the way back. So speaking of Vegas, the Penguins were here last night. Noobs, um, you came from Philadelphia when the Eagles played here and you saw the bit of a circus. You didn't get the win. The Penguins came in last night and won. Um, they were down 3 nothing. Little Kinsig was sitting with me on the couch with Mrs. Kinsig, Jessica, and Kendall. And – Jessica said to Kendall, who's going to win this hockey game? It was three nothing nights. And she goes, the Penguins. I was like, the Penguins? Really? And I looked at Jessica. I go, should I bet it? She's like, she's seven. She's I'm a like, I know. sayer, though. I don't care what shade she is. She sees the shit sometimes, and she just looks at it and gives it to me. Now, she's still smarting from having Alabama in the championship game. You know, she really thought Alabama was going to win. The elephants. You know, she is seven <laughs> after all day. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, she missed that one. But we hit a little in-game on the Penguins. There we um, go. So we hit a little shot. They came back, tied the game 3-3, 1-5-3. Crosby got the empty netter. Penguins are hot, 8-2. and two. Noobs, is it time yet for you to – I mean, because the Flyers look like shit. Yeah, <laughs> the Flyers are dog shit. You, you know, once the playoff picture starts coming into fold, you know playoff anything. Playoff fucking tiddlywinks, Dave. I'm going to find a way to get a bet down okay. on it, and I'm going to be watching it sweating it out in my living room so once the playoff picture i mean i do produce that puck time show on wager talk with carmen andrew every day so i hear all the <laughs> hockey stuff i'm around the hockey stuff but for me it's just tough to get into it when there's still football going on and yep. you know basketball is like my one a so right. there's only so many hours in the day but i do love myself some nhl once it starts getting into playoff time for sure Speaking of McGinnis, I said it today on the Wager Talk show, by the way. McGinnis is six foot five or six yeah. foot six. That dude is big. I never he would played, have guessed that. He played volleyball in school. Like he could jump. He said he could dunk at one point. I don't know if he could dunk now. I, but like, I think he's full of shit on that part. I want to see him with a rim and see if he actually can dunk. That's what I want to see. But I think the bigger thing out of that, Dave, is when you're doing like these Zoom calls, like you have no clue. If somebody is like tall, if somebody nope. short, like it, this whole entire nope. new world that we live in until like I met you guys, I had no fucking clue. I figured Carl was like seven feet tall just because he has I a, thought he was six, that, three. That's what I mean. He just has Bit that aura point. about him. So I, I'm sure yeah. that's something that people can relate to. Like now that you only work virtually, you have no fucking clue if people are fat, if they're wearing pants, if they're if they're tall, if they're short, you, you have no clue. No, no idea. clue. All about the cropping, all about the angles. That's absolutely. Well, <laughs> thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, click on another video right here on the screen. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.